So I've heard that Brian Laundry could still be out there and I've had several people ask me where they think that I think he is. And I'm like, you are asking the wrong person because I can't find no man. I can't find available men, let alone men that are trying to hide. All right, I feel like, ah, do you wanna be in the video? Oh my gosh, are you just, oh, you're just so precious, you're just so precious, yes you are, yes you are. Name reveal, I think coming tomorrow on this channel. Oh my god, you're so adorable, except for when you eat my clothes. Okay, I feel like these hauls are going to get interesting because the puppy wants to be right next to me and also chew on me. Look, look, ow. Um, chew on my clothes, just chew in general. Here we go. What, what are we doing? I gotta show them this stuff. This is just cute stuff. Okay, great. You stay right here. Um, <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to make do today because the puppy's just gonna be places. Um, all right, so what do I wanna show you guys first? You know what, let's start with some of their like wood crafting stuff. I picked up some more of these. They were in a recent haul. I just needed a couple more because I'm gonna do some like Christmas DIYs, which are coming soon. I'm actually still planning on doing a fall gift basket idea because like, you know, we're technically still in fall. So that's coming too. Um, I found this this is brand new this year i did not see it last year oh don't don't you on that uh oh uh oh uh oh oh uh oh look y'all i'm gonna fall apart before the video ends um so really cute i just how would you guys oh no oh no a bart a bart yeah i'm just kind of like curious i don't know why but when i look at these i can't really like think of what I would do with them other than like paint them, I suppose, and then maybe like putting them in the center of a wreath, but comment down below and let me know like what you would do with these. So I found this version, but then they also have this, which these seem a lot flimsier and cheaper. Like this is like some sturdy stuff, you guys. Like, like me tapping on it is gonna give you any sort of indication. But here's this version of Santa. And then, is that Santa? Yeah. And then a cute little snowman. Very adorable. But as you can see, like, there's no eyes. So I do kind of feel like the purpose of these is to, like, paint them. Or add little eyeballs. I picked up these. They're super cute. They're called wood plaques. And they actually come in different shapes as well. But I really liked these and I'm going to DIY these for Christmas time as well. I've got a smile on my face because, you know, I'm going to do some like gingerbread stuff here. You probably don't know, but I just told you. So that's really like where I think I'm going to go with this. Um, and I think these would be great for tear trays too. So I actually think I might put mine in a tear tray. You could also make like a little kickstand so they can be like tabletop display-ish. Um... Yeah, you could like maybe fit these into like a garland of some sort, maybe even wreaths, mini wreaths. That would be really darling as well. But you could definitely style these, you know, paint them, put words, like whatever you want, and then like set them up in a tear tray. So, oh, I can't wait to do that one. All right. Then I found a ton of glitter glue. So I'm probably going to have to do like, um, a shot so they can see them all together but let me just pull them out first but yeah they're just glitter glues and they come in multiple colors by crafter square so awesome and then i also got pink and blue that's exciting we've got clear and then we have this beautiful like burnt orange so pretty a red and then a brighter orange Yes, yeah, so awesome, but these two right here, very holiday. So these would be a great pickup if you use traditional colors like I do. Um, all right, so we've got those. So like I was saying, just as I suspected, I knew gnomes was just gonna be very trendy, very in our faces at Dollar Tree, and they are super cute. So I found this like little plush 
gnome and i love like let me show you see how they did like a whole matching to his cap to his outfit you've got the traditional colors the blue color is also very christmasy i don't know why but when i see these i think tear tray I also think garland, like if you're really like into fluffing and doing really extravagant garland, I think putting them in there would be really cute. And also in a gift basket. Like how cute would that be? Even like a more adult style, if you need to do that with, you know, just some a beautiful little basket, shredded paper, wine bottle, a uh, bottle of wine. I just said that, what, what am I doing here? Um, you know, like a Merlot and some like wine glasses and then nestle like a cute little gnome. So those were a dollar. And then they put out the little village sets. Now I have only found the two, which I think this is a cathedral or is it just a house? Maybe it's just a house. And then we've got the toy store. Comment and let me know what you are seeing at your Dollar Trees. I really need to know because I've only seen the two because I would love to know, but I love these little houses, you guys, tier trays, even in like a display for your kitchen table. If you want to like do a little setup, you know, do your charger, your plates, your bowls or whatever, and then nestle these like in the center. Ah, my God, how adorable would that be? You could even like do a little wreath on top of the plate and then put these, have like the wreath going around and that would just be extremely festive and adorable. Um, so love those. All right, then I picked up, I had to get these again. I'm so happy Dollar Tree keeps putting out these sequins ornaments. They're so good. They have been sold at Dollar Tree for quite a few years now. I remember the first time they came out, I freaked out. It was like, what, five years ago? Somewhere in that ballpark. You guys, these are just absolutely stunning. The one thing I'll say, if Dollar Tree happens to watch these videos, please put out a green. I feel like that would really complete the collection of like a colored light effect and you could just DIY so much with that. These are just gonna be cute DIYs on your trees. Like look how stunning they are. And if you've been with me for a really long time, you know I also use these as present toppers, charms for your gift bags. They're gonna look great in a gift basket. I don't, where, where'd you go? <laughs> um, all right, the next things I got these paper straws. So I actually use these not to drink out of, I use these as decor. Oh, oh my goodness, what's the matter? You want to show them? So we've got the straws. Yeah, so I use these for tear trays. They're just going to look really cute, especially the red, because I do a red and green look in my kitchen for gingerbread. And the blue I got, the blue I got because I was looking for this during 4th of July. And I said, listen, I'm just going to grab this and put it away. So cute. Yeah, they're just going to look great. Like you just take a couple put them like in a little mug, style them in your tear tray. They're gonna look really cute. You can even outfit them with like little embellishments, a little bit of hot glue and you could put, you know, like a little Santa or something on them and make them like styled really cute in a tear tray. So, got that. Now, um, I wanted to show all of my crafters out there who just love crafting. I picked up some goodies that I think would be great for that. So if you're like into pen pals, you know, just crafts and little books and shaker cards and all of those crafting things that are really popular right now, these are just gonna be staples in my opinion for that. You've got the little pom-pom set and then the mini pom-poms, super cute and also very elf-like. So if you're gonna do like a little elf theme, these are just gonna be great for that. And then these little bows, if you're a crafter, put this on your list. These are amazing. They're also going to be great if you want to do like a little um, advent calendar. You know, get little white boxes or even like little white pails, which Dollar Tree does sell, by the way. And I have done an advent calendar bag with the little pails. I'll link it down below. But just imagine the little pails and then add a bow, hot bow, a 
I can't talk because I'm, I'm watching the puppy just chew on everything, but um, hot glue the bows to like each pail and then you just take a little sticker and number them for your advent and that would be darling. So, but also great, you know, for all the crafting stuff, pocket letters, friend mail, all those things. Also the little drum set. I think these are gonna be great for for crafting as well. Super cute. Great if you're gonna do like a little mini tree. Like if you wanna do like a mini tree in your office or at work or just wherever, these little ornaments are so darling for that. And you get 12 in here for a dollar. So I think that's great. And then again, for my crafters, I got these beads. Look at those Christmas colors. I wanna point out though, that the label on this is blue. And again, I speak to labels often just to help you guys navigate through Dollar Tree and know where things are at. This is not, at least not at my Dollar Tree, this is not in the Christmas section because Crafter Square Christmas is a green label. The blue label is like their every day, it's gonna be in the permanent aisle. Whereas this is gonna be in their holiday section. You know what I'm saying? Now some Dollar Trees may be like, oh, this will be great with the Christmas stuff. I don't really know, but just letting you guys know. So these are gonna be great to like fill and do shaker cards. Look how much you get in here. It's just awesome. So we got that. And then I picked up a little elf. Oh my gosh, every time, there's just so many themes like I would love to do for Christmas. Elf is one of them. Um, I would love to like step out of my box and do like a modern glam, like the whole white silvery thing, maybe even like a pink. But as most of you know, I do plaid, gingerbread, and peppermint, candy cane, like however you wanna say that. But I would love to do like a little elf theme somewhere. I don't know, maybe my office one day. It's not in the books this year, but like, Maybe next year. Um, you know what? Not maybe. I'm going to do it. I don't know if it will be elf, but I'm definitely going to decorate my office. We'll see. Um, oh, the little present boxes. Also going to be great for my crafters. I think these would just be really cute for like your pen pals or just like whatever. Um, and they're ornaments too. So they have like the little strings so you can add them to little things. But they're also going to be great to decorate... Um, Christmas gifts with like whether you're wrapping or you're adding them as charms to like a gift bag which I've done a lot of wrapping videos on my channel in case you haven't seen those I'll link it down below and then I found some new ornaments they are so cute I don't remember them doing it last year but like correct me if I'm wrong so they're doing the buffalo check for us they gave us the white and black and the red and black and it's like a little birdhouse Are you, are you you're still chewing on that? Okay, great. Um, yeah, look how cute and darling this is. Like, what a great little ornament. Also be great as charms or putting them in a tear tray. You don't have to just, like, use it for an ornament. So I found those. A couple more of these little boxes. For that DIY. And this is brand new, you guys. Dollar Tree knows. I don't know how they know. I don't know, you know, what social media they're following or like what they're doing, but they know that we go into that store for like DIY material. They just know. So we've got these little sleds, obviously very raw, very bare, so that you can just decorate it however you want. And honestly, I appreciate that. So we've got this style, super cute, and this style. Yeah, just love the size of them too. I think it's perfect. And then I picked up this little holiday baking book. Dollar Tree actually sells quite a few of these. So you definitely have to be, where, where'd you go? Okay, just checking. You definitely have to be on the lookout. Look how beautiful this is. I think this will be great for gift giving too. Or like a care package with like a little baking theme. You could do two and then send a little book, you know, for all of those of you who send care packages like I do to my daughter. Um, oh my gosh, what a great little book for a dollar. The pictures are gorgeous. Um, all right, so I found those. 
And then, this has been my newest obsession, are their cards. So, let me show you guys what I found. I picked up, do you need to go potty? Yeah, we gotta go. Where were we? Um, so I picked up this really beautiful Thanksgiving card. Absolutely stunning. Thanksgiving is gonna have like this khaki colored envelope. And let's see. Also this one, which is so beautiful. Love the fall scenery, just absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. And then I have, oops, I have this Thanksgiving one also very beautiful i'm telling you do not sleep on these cards they're just beautiful i mean i think they're 50 cents now i noticed a new color envelope and it's like this tiffany blue color and it's their new year's cards i only found no i think there were a couple but this one was my uh favorite how beautiful is that stunning and then with the light baby blue envelopes these are going to be veterans day so let me show you how beautiful these are. I got a bunch of them. I love this. I love the illustration. It's just chef's kiss. Love it. And then we've got this one. Love the cloud. Very pretty. So if like, you know, Air Force, it doesn't say Air Force or anything. No, yeah. But I just think that with this one. And then we have this beautiful one, probably one of my favorites. Freedom, yes, love it. And then we have just a good, a good traditional American, the flag, the eagle, it's just beautiful, just beautiful. Um, and then we have this one, just also stunning. We've got the flag, thank you for your service, and look at these beautiful red foiled stars. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should see. You're just staring at me over there. And then, so then when they do have some that like have the branches, so we've got army right here with the green. There is some texture to it. The little stars, it's very cool. Love it. And then we have the navy the ships oh my gosh that's really cool love that and then we have oh my gosh look at this one you guys it's just so beautiful i want to show you these two kind of together yeah just really oh love it and then this is the last one which says god bless you on veterans day and the last couple of things are going to be wrapping paper. So this one is actually a repeat. I'm not going to open it up because I already did. I'm really sorry, but I did show it on camera. But it's just, I ha you know, I have to open it. It's just not right. I'm going to have to open it. Um, I already showed it in a haul not too long ago. But I decided I had to get another roll because it's just that good. I just really love Santa and the snowy scene here. Look at that. It is brand new. I have not seen Dollar Tree do this. So as you can see, I got two rolls. So I'm going to open one up. But run to Dollar Tree for this one. Put it on your list. Because let me tell you. Okay. Are you helping with the haul? Thank you very much. Oh my. No. Oh, my lord. Just yes. Yes to everybody. All the creatures, the snowmen. There's even cardinals. All the trees, the red truck. Just, oh my god. It's, ooh, there's a basket of apples. I think. You see right there? I think that's apples. All right, guys. So we are going to say goodbye. Was that a fun haul? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.
Kia. <laughs> You're a ham. You're a ham. Yeah, say bye. Oh my goodness.